Phil, uh, Phil actually helped me to to uh, to see to appreciate the systems, the systems nature of what of what uh, we were working at uh, with with our urban forestry programs. Um, I was I was um, you know I was kind of following following the leads that made sense to me and, and kind of pulling different information together. Um, Partly following the leads of the U.S. Forest Service and, and some some uh, some research that they were publishing, um, and uh, but Phil really, uh, in the wake of those videos, helped me to uh, helped me to appreciate that um, that what what we were demonstrating was that trees um, have have these connection points throughout our throughout our society throughout our community. Um, in in some really remarkable ways, um, this is uh, this is a um, this is a, a project that I, I worked on in a Sunday school class um, seven years ago, um, where uh, where I put urban forestry down there, um, and and I asked folks in the Sunday school class to um, to name the things that were most important to them, um, and. Uh, so we, we began to make these other bubbles, and and then um, and then part of my job was to to help find the connection to trees um, from things like jobs, social stability, um, economic health, uh, and and to kind of explain to kind of interpret some of those things, and 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 that was that was what uh, the forestry videos were also designed to, to demonstrate. Um, and, and like I said, I didn't even fully appreciate as those videos were being put together um, and, and as we were interviewing people like, um, uh, like Gina and um, um, so, some of the other people, and uh, as, as, those, as those videos came, uh, came together and um, people began to respond to them, um, it made me want to, to start trying to map some of these uh, some of these connections for us, um, you know. So, for instance, down here is crime and justice, and there's a direct link to urban forestry there. And um, and what is that link? Well, it's this it's this amazing uh, bit of research that came out of Chicago originally, and then has been since replicated in uh, Seattle and Los Angeles, where um, where neighborhoods without trees experience much more crime than neighborhoods with trees, and um, and, and and the research tried to uh, tried to um, justify uh, various variables in order to you know to, to look at the way that this um, that this happens, and exactly what the correlation is not known. Uh, but it probably has something to do with the fact that when trees are present in a neighborhood, uh, people are much more willing and able to go out of their homes and be seen and see other people. And, and so you just have real basic kind of social interaction and people recognizing each other and getting to know each other. Um, in the absence of trees in the summertime when it's hot, like on a day like this, then you stay inside and you don't get to you don't get to meet each other, um, and uh, and as a result, uh, either real crime or the perception of crime inches up in those neighborhoods without trees, and inches down in their, those neighborhoods with trees, um, and so that's that's how that link happens, um, and uh, and and. And that uh, it can also be expressed in just the pure uh, economics of of a neighborhood, comparing neighborhoods. Um, there, there were some great studies uh, that were just taking pictures of high income neighborhoods and low income neighborhoods, and the way you can tell from an aerial photograph is where the trees are, where the trees are, uh, and then and then you go in and look at uh, look at the census data to to confirm that. The tree neighborhood has much higher income than, than the untreed neighborhood. Um, so it's crime and justice, uh, it's social stability. Um, and, and so a, a web like this um, 
and this was this was just you know a conversational uh, hour with with a Sunday school class, thinking about how how these things um, tie together either directly or or indirectly, um, and that's. Uh, that that's one of the things that um, I think we have to continue to to work at. Um, if we're thinking about story, uh, then this this becomes a place uh, where story can be can be traced out, can be seen. Uh, it also is a place where an ecosystem becomes visible, and and an ecosystem is a story. You know where where all these components are working together, living together, playing together, fighting together, um, but managing each other's lives also in, in symbiotic ways. Urban forestry and trees is not at the center. It shouldn't be at the center. But these other things aren't necessarily at the center either. They're all, they're all connected in different, uh, in different ways.